We're here at 3T and Dave is going to talk us through their new Exploro bike. Thanks very much. We've recently introduced our Exploro. It's the very first aerodynamically developed performance mixed surface terrain bicycle. And that's sound of a mouthful. Let's dig into exactly why uh, this bike is unique and what makes it so. The first thing we did is we developed a bike with road geometry. So not using an extended wheelbase, not really developing a bike specifically for off-road use. The bike really shares and retains the same endurance geometry that you're finding on many modern bicycles today. You know, even five years ago, building something like this would have been impossible because the industry hadn't embraced disc brakes. So now with a disc brake design, we can incorporate the braking system at the hub, which frees up frame design to use different wheel sizes. And this particular bike is developed around a 700C wheel. Uh, you can run between a 28 and let's say a 40 millimeter tire with 700C wheels. But with disc brakes, we can get in and we can utilize a 650B wheel and a much larger cross-section tire. The frame is designed to accommodate tires up to 2.1 inch or about 55 millimeters in cross-section. So whether you're riding on the road with a conventional road tire, maybe some mixed surface, or you can use a cross, uh, a cycle cross tire, or really for those uh, excursions where you're not sure what to expect, you can run some of the new Road Plus tires or Gravel Plus tires uh, with a 47, 50, or even 2.1 inch uh, mountain bike tread. So really a versatile bicycle. Yeah, sorry, so to be clear that although this kind of looks like what a lot of the industry is doing at the minute with like a kind of slacker gravel adventure bike this isn't isn't that basically is it no it really isn't uh i mean again when you look at the geometry chart closely you can see the wheelbase is kept nice and short head and seat angles are short uh, the bicycle really performs as well uh for, on a high performance level it's not designed to be a recreational relaxed bike where you're just going to sort of take the uh take the slow path part of our development we use uh, what's called real fast or we develop the frame shapes and the aerodynamic benefit around a 20 mile an hour average speed rather than the 30 mile an hour sort of industry standard um, to really showcase the benefits. There's not many off-road events that are conducted at 30 miles an hour that's more in the realm of time trial and triathlon. To develop the, the benefit and the aerodynamic shapes, we took a look at what the performance envelope, the aerodynamics of a round tube road bike with 28 millimeter tires, and then we developed these square-o shapes a rounded aerodynamic profile with a flatter cross section on the backside. Cross section of the frame shape is much larger because we're expecting you, of course, to use much larger tires. So the net result of the carefully selected frame shapes, the aerodynamic benefit, yields about a seven watt advantage on this bike as you see it with the aerodynamic frame, a 40 millimeter knobby tire, and covered with a bit of dirt, it's gonna have the same uh, aerodynamic, in fact, a little bit better than a conventional round tube bike with 28 millimeter tires. So really no loss in going to bikes that have this versatility of riding in any terrain. So pretty kind of about as versatile bike as you can get. Yeah, quite a, uh, you know, quite a niche buster. I mean, this industry is great for coming up with a brand new category every year of some kind of new bike. And this really breaks that down because if you're buying your next road bike, this bike is really capable of accommodating you. So yeah, if you're fed up of new standards and all that kind of thing, then maybe this could be the bike for you.